Hello and welcome to round two. This is a keeper. I've got the Lonely Sandbar on turn one, followed by a Blighted Agent on turn two, and then Bone Splitter and Vines, and we'll see what happens from there. My opponent Mulligan to six. Can only be good for me. Oh, so one of the things that I was going to say about this deck is when I first started building it, I had a lot of more of the expensive guys like Sisbear and more Rotwolf. I even had a couple Blight Widows in there, and I had all of the um, Corpse Curves. But slowly, the more games I played, the more I began to really just value and protect those one one guys. You get them out early underneath the counters, and then from there on, you just try to basically protect them with your cards, like Vines of Aswood is one of the key that it's protection and offense is very good. He got to go first. Martyr of Ashes. This is a tough matchup for this deck. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is the best or the worst matchup. Because Martyr of Ashes Ashes is really, really good. Elden Marauders, wow. Well, not much to be done other than play Blighted Agent. I mean, I can invigorate if he does. He doesn't have enough cards to kill it through the invigorate, so. He only gets one swing with the Marauders, though that's probably enough. Hmm. Sure. Looks like he's going to go for the explosion. Come Fiend? I guess not. Can I just win is the first question. No, it does not look like it. So the second question is, what am I doing? Yeah, I can go up to nine, and I can't equip the Bone Splitter and do that. Well, so the first thing I do is brainstorm to see if I can win, right? Because then I'll just play a Forest and play Bone Splitter and keep Vines of Acid and Invigorate up. Yep. Okay, did not draw another good thing, so I'll just put two forests back. That's easy. Um, yeah. I basically just have to hope he can't he can't kill me next turn. Chain Lightning. Um. Just binds it. Suspends a Rift Bolt, okay. Getting in there. Okay, so... Is this where I go for the cycle? Oh, I should have... Oh, no, I couldn't cycle Trinkle Quick. Okay. Um, okay. First thing I do, I think, is cycle this. 
Because I can still afford a double cost thing. Hope to get... Nope. Then cycle this. One, two, three, seven, eight. Yeah, I need a giant growth or something. On the other hand, no, I can still play a Blight Agent. Hmm. Nope. Okay, so... Or wait, no, I can't still play a Blight Agent. Yeah, that was silly. I think I have to keep this guy back. Hopefully he goes for the Blighted Agent. I'll just invigorate. I'm not looking like I'm winning this game, I gotta say. He's targeting me, that's probably not a good sign. Okay, here's where I invigorate. Probably in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I think I could have played that a little bit better, I'm guessing. Does he know what he's drawing? How does he know he's going to draw that lightning bolt? Alright, well, I feel like I could have won that one, potentially. But that was a pretty rough, rough go. So I'm going to bring in a couple of Hydro Blasts. Out a couple of... Out... What's going on here? Um, let's see. Out Rot Wolf. Out Giant Growth out a tranquil thicket in an intervene double hydroblast and intervene and I'm just gonna leave in one giant growth bring in double intervene try to save my creatures more often and we'll hopefully go with that <laughs> 